Thank you for choosing the CoagSense PT-INR monitoring system. The CoagSense system is used to test prothrombin time, PT, in patients taking warfarin for oral anticoagulant therapy. Results are reported as International Normalized Ratio, or INR units, and PT seconds. Because the system directly detects clot formation, it reports true PT seconds. The CoagSense system consists of a meter and single-use PT strips and control strips, along with certain accessories required for testing. Controls should be tested with each new lot of test strips when they are received. Consult the user manual for instructions on running controls. This video will cover the basics of using the CoagSense PT-INR monitoring system. For complete instructions, be sure to read the printed user manual and all packaging inserts. Make sure that you have all the supplies needed before you start, including a 21-gauge lancet, sample transfer tubes, sterile alcohol prep pads, gauze square, and a biohazard or sharps waste container. For finger stick blood testing, increasing the flow of blood in the finger will help you capture a good drop of blood. Before you lance the finger, have the patient warm their hand by washing it in warm water or by using a hand warmer. Ensure that the patient's hand is dry prior to testing. Performing a PT test. To begin, place the meter on a stationary, level surface for testing. Wear gloves and follow all applicable safety procedures. Turn the meter on by pressing and holding the power button on the right side of the meter. When the system finishes starting up, the login screen will be displayed. Log in as admin or using your assigned credentials. Once the meter main menu is displayed, ensure that it is connected to your Wi-Fi network by checking that the Wi-Fi symbol is on in the top right corner of the display. The meter will notify you if software updates are available if it is connected to a network. Press the test button on the color touchscreen. Confirm that the patient strip lot number displayed matches the lot number on the test strip pouch. If the number does not match or the field on the meter is blank, then touch the NFC chip located on your test strip packaging to the NFC target rings on the meter case. If the NFC chip is not available, then manually enter the lot and barcode numbers from the patient test strip pouch, then press the continue button. Enter the patient ID or scan the patient ID barcode using an optional barcode scanner. Press the continue button. The display will now display the message to please insert a strip. Open a PT test strip package, tearing at the notched end. Remove the strip. With the wheel facing up, hold the round end of the test strip and gently push the strip completely into the meter. The strip fits snugly when pushed all the way toward the back wall of the strip holder. It is suggested that the back of the meter be held with one hand while using the other hand to insert the strip fully in a smooth motion. When the test strip is correctly inserted, the display will read, please wait until warm-up is complete. The meter will warm up the strip and display a countdown of the time remaining during the warm-up cycle. While the test strip is warming, insert the black plastic plunger into the end of the glass tube with the red strip, using care to avoid hitting the white plug. Clean the patient's fingertip with an alcohol wipe. Dry the fingertip with gauze to remove any excess. Place the patient's hand on a solid surface with the palm of the hand facing up. After apply sample is displayed, you now have two and a half minutes to apply the sample to the test strip. The best test sample is when the blood is collected right after the finger stick and put into the sample well without delay. If the blood is not collected or tested quickly, repeat with a fresh finger stick and a new strip. Remove the cap from the single-use 21-gauge lancet. Use only 21-gauge lancets as smaller diabetes lancets do not produce sufficient whole blood volume. Place the lancet against the skin. Holding the body of the lancet, push down firmly against the finger to lance the surface of the skin. A minimum of 10 microliters of collected blood sample is required. The finger stick site should bleed freely. If it doesn't, put pressure at the first finger joint, then gently squeeze the finger from the sides to get it started. Lowering the patient's hand and arm so that the fingertip is below the heart helps the blood drop form. Keep squeezing the finger until you produce a pea-sized bead of blood. 
Please note, squeezing the finger stick site excessively or milking releases interstitial tissue layer fluid containing tissue factors that can cause unreliable results. Certain prescription drugs, for example, heparin, and certain over-the-counter medications and antibiotics can affect the action of oral blood thinners and the INR value. Collect the sample using a sample transfer tube. Holding the transfer tube horizontal, touch the tip to the bead of blood and let capillary action fill until the blood flow stops at the white plug. Squeeze the finger to generate additional blood if required to completely fill the white plug. Insert the transfer tube tip into the sample application well of the test strip and touch the tip down at the flashing green light in front of the spinning wheel. Depress the black plunger completely to dispense the blood. The light should go out and the meter should display, testing, please wait. The testing time is the patient's actual clotting time as the system produces a true prothrombin time. Never add more blood to the test strip. Never collect a second sample from the same finger stick. When testing is complete, the results appear on the screen. If an error is displayed, either not enough blood sample was applied or the sample contained air bubbles, refer to the troubleshooting section of the manual. Remove the strip and retest with a new strip and fresh finger stick from a different finger. Remove the test strip and properly dispose along with the sample transfer tube and lancet. Turn the meter off by pressing and holding the power button when you are finished testing. For unexpected results, contact Coagusense Technical Support at 1-866-903-0890 or via email at techsupport at coagusense.com.